Mateo. Hi, my name is Scott. Hi, my name is Heath. And this is the Big, Big Three, Three Sports, Sports Show. Actually, Nation, I got it. Yeah. It's the one game one. How yeah. long did, did you practice per day? Do you really want to know? Yeah. Okay, if I'm telling you the truth, you got to get ready for this. We really, truly practice all day. All day we mentally prepare for a game, but truly on the field, we spent about four or five hours on the football field, watching film, doing those type of things. But all day, it's a mental thing. You're thinking about it during class, what you're going to do in the game. You're thinking about your plays at night. You're looking at your playbook, and you're getting ready for that game the next day. So uh, a true answer, we have five-hour practices or whatever, but really, 24 hours, you're getting ready for the game. How does it feel to be like the difference of your team? To win a Super Bowl with one team and then win another Super Bowl with another team? Well, you know what? For a second there, I thought I was a good luck charm. Because everywhere I was going, we was winning championships. And in Canada, we was winning the Grey Cup. The World League, I won a championship. South Carolina, I won a championship. I just felt like I was winning championships. I was hanging out with Norris Cole. He won two championships. I felt like I was a good luck charm. But really, man, it's, I think it's part of my faith, man. Just believing in God, praying every day. You just giving that morale to your teammates and all that type of stuff. And just giving them that belief that they can, they can win. I think I got a good gift of engaging and inspiring. That's what I'm going to do today out here with the kids. It's kind of positive attitude and engaging and inspiring. And get ready to rock and roll. Excellent question. The reason I chose to have this camp for these kids is when I was growing up, I didn't feel like it was enough football camps growing up, free camps that we could afford, you know what I mean? So this is a, a free camp that everyone can afford and we could just have fun with you. When I was growing up, we did have the Martin Bayless camp for a few years. We had the uh, Keith Byers football camp for a few years, but I didn't feel like it was enough consistently. If y'all know my friend Brandon McKinney, he has a football camp. I have a football camp. There's a couple other guys in the Dayton area with camps also. So we just want to give more camps, more opportunities for kids to learn about football, to have fun, and you know what? To see if they can beat me and run it. We're going to see which one of y'all can do that after this. Okay.